Hello all, welcome to my YouTube lecture. I am Shrikant Shirkol. So today we are learning about behavioral modeling. In this session we concentrate on writing Verilog code for 4-bit up-down counter and BCD counter. So 4-bit up-down counter code is as given here. So here there are two ways of writing up-down counter. One is with additional input command wherein it controls whether to up count or down count or else the other way is to design a up-down counter which does up counting and down counting automatically. So here's a code. Let us just do um, explain it using a paperwork. The working of the up-down counter uh, uh, goes like this. So normally a counter will be having a clock, reset and queue. Let us assume uh, the 4-bit uh, counter. This is a counter. So here there are two ways of uh, carrying out the up-down counter. One is uh, using uh, additional input. Without using additional input, that logic will be studying in this session. So here what we do is, at every pause edge of clock, think that this is the clock signal. This is a clock signal. So it will be continuously toggling. These all are positive edges. Positive edges and carries go, goes on. If think that reset is allowed, I mean reset is zero. So Q value goes on incrementing. First positive edge, initially it will be zero. First positive edge, so it will go to one and it will continue. Next positive edge, so again it will increment, it will go to two. Next positive edge, again it will increment, it will go to three. So like this till 15 it will reach. So once it reaches 15, Think that, think that it has reached 15. Once it reaches 15, after encountering next posage, it should decrement. It should decrement. It goes on like this. And it has to reach, reach 0 and it should continue thereafter. Continue thereafter. So this is how it should work. But the problem is how to carry out this. To carry out this, what we do is we define one more intermediate called A. We increment A in the same fashion, 0, 1, 2, 3, till uh, 15. And here, so it just go on counting 16, 17, 18, 19, till whatsoever number. If this is 4 bit, I'll be considering this as one extra bit, 5 bit. So that's why it will count till 31. Till 31 it can count. So make manage such that after 15, exactly after it reaches 0, it should be made again should be made again 0 and then after it should be continued so this is a logic we are applying for designing up down counter now we will look into the Verilog code for 4 bit up down counter and BCD up down counter so in counter to design a up counter or down counter is much more simpler when compared to designing both up down counter so up down counter can be designed in two ways one is with having additional input to say to just uh, command the counter to count up or count, command the counter to count down so if i want the counter to automatically count till the maximum and again automatically it should count down automatically so if I want to perform such operation, then the code goes like this. So initially, module, uh, let me name it as uh, up down counter, up down counter 4 bit. You can give any name. Just to have a clarity, I have given it in this manner. Then uh, mention the inputs. I have two inputs and one output, Q. So what is uh, the input here? Clock and reset are the two inputs. 
output as 3 down to 0 Q. It's a 4 bit counter, hence I have taken it as 3 down to 0. Then, uh, as here, uh, we are using this output inside always, so you need to also declare it as register 3 down to 0 Q. I initialize it to 4 bit decimal 0, or else you can write 4 bit binary 0, 0, 0, 0, or the, even this is okay. Next, I start with a uh, one more uh, wire or register I declare, intermediate register. I'll tell you why it is necessary later. 4 down to 0, one extra bit I need to consider for declaring this. Let me name it as A. It's an intermediate. I name it as A. It's an intermediate. Okay. Next, let me start with a code. Always at pause edge for every counter, you should use this command pause edge of clock, or else you can also use it as negage begin. If I'm checking the reset case, if reset Q should be equal to zero, I have already said non blocking or blocking doesn't make any difference, but make sure that. When Q output is one assigned with non-blocking assignments, throughout the code it should be non-blocking. If you assign it with blocking, throughout the code Q should be used with blocking only. So don't use multiple blocking as well as non-blocking. It will throw you an error. Else, uh, I just uh, begin because I'll be having multiple statements. Begin. I increment the intermediate a is equal to a plus one then then i check the condition if a is less than or equal to less than or equal to 15 a is less than or equal to 15 then uh, uh, what what has to happen is q should be incremented so if a is incrementing from 0 to 15 q also will increment from 0 to 15 but thereafter, if A is above 15, else if A is above 15, and I'm checking one more condition, A is less than or equal to 30. Why I've taken this? Because Q has reached 15 when A has reached 15. Now it should down count. For down counting, when A reaches 16, it should reach to 14. So that's why it should down count. Hence, from 14 to till it reaches 0, I need uh, the A to be reached till 30. So hence, I decrement from Q, Q minus 1. I decrement from here. And uh, I, as I said, here I have used non-blocking. Make sure that you are using non-blocking for wherever Q is there, non-blocking. Or else make it as a blocking. Any, any one you have to prefer. So our code is done. Else. Why I have to cover it as else because there is one more case 31. In that case, whenever it A reaches 31, it should be made 0. End it. End the always. And end module. End module. So this is a code for your 4-bit uh, uh, up-down counter. Now, I just uh, take you to one more uh, uh, code deviation that is your 4 bit 4 bit up down counter so in 4 bit bcd up down counter let me tell you bcd means 0 to 9 and again 9 to 0 this is what happened should happen so there is no much difference in writing the bcd up down counter compared to 4 bit up down counter the only difference is so here everything is same everything is same so here also it is same even this is same from here it changes let me write the code for this so in this code what we have to do is we have to assign we have to make sure that a is incrementing and q should increment with it only till only till 9 so that's why here I could write the condition like this if if 
a is less than or equal to 9 in place of 15 I'm writing 9 what should happen to the Q Q should increment else if else if a is greater than 9 here it is 15 I write is 19 logical and a is less than or equal to uh, what I can say is for next 8 next 9 times it should decrement so 9 plus 9 it will be 18 9 time it should decrement so I am decrementing it else else a is equal to 0 end it and rest everything is again same so this is about uh, the bcd up down counter and 4 bit up down counter we shall check in the xilinx simulation yes so here is the same code that we had uh, discussed till now uh, same code we'll just take the same code in the xilinx uh, environment before that i just want to just reconfirm uh, about the non blocking blocking statement so if you use non blocking here here also non blocking here wherever q is been assigned it all has non blocking assignment if you consider blocking everywhere it should be blocking if you mix it up it will throw you an error so the, this is a simple thing that you should follow and uh, let me show bcd up down counter everything is same only changes here rather than 15 i'll have 9 rather than 15 i'll be having 9 here i replace 30 with 18 and that that changes it to bcd up down counter we'll check both these uh, programs on xilinx environment i have a code written in xilinx environment so this is a uh, uh, up down counter of 4 bit same code everything is same that uh, we discussed just now we go directly go for simulation i'll just show you uh, how um, it increments and uh, even we can check that uh, how it matches the count with a up till uh, whenever it is up counting and in down counting it does not happen so so let me keep it in uh, radix form of unsigned decimal so that it will be easy for us to read clock i force a clock 0 1 10 nanoseconds you can prefer anything next one second let me check reset force constant reset i'll keep it at zero now run it i maximize it you can check 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 a is also incrementing in the same manner q is also incrementing in the same manner but thereafter i just take it you can check from here so q is decrementing but a is just continuing as it is so when when you can check here when q reaches uh, 1 uh, a would have reached 29 when a reaches 30 q becomes 0 and i make a also 0 again it uh, continues fall in the loop and it will continue thereafter 15 and then again decrementing once it reaches 15 again it, it is decrementing this is how the down counter up down counter can, i mean carries out so now in the same way we just uh, change it to bcd up down counter so bcd up down counter very small change in the code that is uh, you should replace 9 with 15 with 9 and uh, 18 one more thing is 30 with 18 i have a code i'll just take it 9 and 18 has been replaced save it make sure that everywhere non blocking or else blocking should be used now i implement it synthesize it everything is same there is no difference intentionally i am keeping uh, the the code format or template same so as to uh, it should be easy for uh, you people uh, you, we, we can write the verilog code in a number of ways a number of ways you can you can come up with much more efficient way so now i just simulate it yes restart I keep it in radix form unsigned decimal now I give the clock force clock 0 1 10 nanoseconds okay reset being 0 when reset is 0 counter counts so I maximize it you can check so up till 0 to 9 
A is incrementing, your uh, Q is also incrementing. Once it reaches 10, so it is decrementing. 9, 8, 7, 8, 6, 8, 2. And you can check here. Uh, 2. So 2, 1. When it reaches 18, your 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 Q is reaching 0. So that's why at 19, when, when A reaches 19, it should be made 0. Thereafter, it continues in the same way. It continues in the same way. So this is BCD up down counter now just just for a uh, um, you know so, somewhat uh, so, some twist i can say or not just it is much more simpler if i want to design bcd up counter what changes we should do so till here everything is same see i just want to define bcd up, up counter a less than or equal to 9 q should be incremented now this case decrementing case does not appear at all now else if if a is other than uh, the number which is greater than 9 then what should happen a should also be made 0 q should also be made 0 q should also be made 0 as we have two statements here l should be covered with begin and end one more begin and end this makes you bcd up counter can check i'm synthesizing it Now we will simulate it. Restart. Keep the radix to unsigned decimal. Force the clock. 0, 1, 10 nanoseconds. Reset to be 0. Run it. Zoom to fit. You can check. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it continues. Again, after reaching 9, it continues from 0, 1, 2, 3, 9. This is BCD up counter. In the similar way, you can try for BCD down counter. So all these codes slightly differ. Uh, you apply, you use some common template and try to make the modifications as, as required by you and as what we want to achieve. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video. We will have some important concept discussed in the uh, upcoming videos. One of the important concept is frequency divider. And after that, we will just go for case statement that is called multi-branching. Thank you. So keep uh, to keep updated, please kindly subscribe the channel.